What's up, Blue Devil fans? This is YouTube's Duke Blue Forever teaming up with DukeReport.com to give you a full video recap of Countdown to Craziness. Duke's much-improved season kickoff event had everything a Blue Devil fan could want and a whole lot more. Crazy Towel Guy? Check. Cameron Crazy's acting crazy? Also check. Duke Blue Devil surfing on Duke students? Check. Duke's Defmo doing their best impression of America's Best Dance Crew? Well... Uh, Alright, we, we could probably leave that one off, but at least Jason Williams stopped by to give him a few pointers before they went out and, you know, did their best. The production value for this year's event went up in a big way, with fancy lights hitting the floor showing the Duke logo, all kinds of stuff like that. There was a lot going on before anything significant started happening. Games and competitions, stuff like that. We had games like Knockout, where this guy happened to win the exact same jersey he was wearing when he started, but, you know, he didn't seem to mind too much. Got to see this year's team poster. It's a good fellas theme and a lot better than last year's poster. This year's hype video was also excellent. Fans were also treated with some hysterical movie spoofs, highlighted by this Titanic spoof featuring Andre Dawkins and a funny, albeit inappropriate and slightly disturbing, Nolan Smith. But hey, you know, it's good for laughs. The lights went out for about two minutes with more Duke logos flashing across the basketball floor. And the spotlight guy did his absolute best to follow a basketball. His Coach K grabbed it, held it over his head with cheers and ovation coming from the crowd before throwing it on the ground Andy Samberg style. Well, not really, but he should have because that would have been awesome. Next up was the team introduction where we got our first look at freshman Andre Dawkins, Ryan Kelly, Mason Plumley, transfer student Seth Curry, as well as the rest of the team. Kyle came out traditionally aggressive and mugged the Duke Blue Devil before getting a loud ovation from the fans. Owen Smith set the tone for humor for the night wearing some blue glasses and doing some dance moves. And Zubek did his best attempt at the running man. Don Shire walked out with the loudest cheer of the night for sure, being a senior in his last season for the Duke Blue Devils. Next up was the introduction of the team coaches for the night, none other than Duke legends Christian Leitner and Bobby Hurley. Man, just take a look at that. Bobby Hurley, Jason Williams standing next to each other. Soak it in, Blue Devil fans. That's a sight to behold. I'm probably talking about Zubek's beard. As the scrimmage got started, the white team featured what looks like the likely starting lineup for the beginning of the season with Nolan Smith, John Shire, Kyle Singler, and Miles and Mason Plumley. Tip-off went not surprisingly to the white team where Nolan knocked down his first three of the night. Nolan had a crazy game, and he showed things that, that we've only seen in flashes so far but put it together the whole evening. He hit three consecutive three-point attempts, made his way into the lane, and finished with athleticism. He played with poise, the kind of poise that Nolan is known to have when he talks off the floor. And I think it's safe to say that while everyone's talking about Shire and Singler and no doubt they'll have a great season, if Nolan plays at the level he showed at Countdown to Craziness throughout the year, the Blue Devils are going to surprise a lot of people and finish the season a lot stronger than many of the analysts are anticipating. So Nolan definitely raised some eyebrows tonight. The first game was a little sloppy as the guys tried to please the fans with some alley-oops that didn't quite connect, but overall we got to see what a lot of guys are going to offer this season. Shire showed what most fans have come to expect with steady play and a smooth stroke. He ended up with 12 assists and zero turnovers, so so much for the whole Shire can't play point guard argument. And he even showed us that yes, John Shire can dunk. Kyle Singler also had a fantastic night, but that's pretty much expected because let's be honest, Kyle Singler is a machine. There's nothing the guy can't do. Coach K says he's going to play on the perimeter pretty much exclusively this year. And Singler showed a three-point shot that actually looks improved over last year. He connected on, on a number of three-pointers. His shot has perfect arc. And if he can shoot like he did not count down to craziness throughout the season, Duke is going to be in excellent shape as the season wears on. As far as the freshmen go, Mason looked a little nervous to be playing in front of the crazies for the first time. Kelly didn't get too many touches, but we got to see his shot once or twice. Andre Dawkins, however, looked ready to play. Dawkins is extremely athletic, he can shoot the ball, he connected on a number of three-pointers, finished in the lane, and had a few dunks that got the crowd off their feet. So expect Dawkins to be a big contributor off the bench this season. Seth Curry gave fans a little taste of what to expect next year. He started the night off cold but showed some J.J. Redick-like range in the second game tonight. Another year of practicing with the team and he should be a definite factor next season. Speaking of range, Olek even connected for a three, so who knows what this season's going to bring. Shire, Singler, Smith, Dawkins, we had a lot of players that looked great tonight, but Miles Plumley looks head and shoulders better than he was last year. He showed that he can be in the right place at the right time, finished with authority. He had one of the best breakaway dunks that Cameron Indoor has seen in a long time, and if the way he played tonight is any indication of how well he's progressed 
since last season, you can go ahead and say that Duke's front court problems and post scoring problems are solved. All in all, I think it's pretty safe to say that this was one of the best, if not the best, kickoffs of a basketball season Duke has ever had. They finished the night with a pretty epic dunk contest, and we're going to show you highlights from that now. So just sit back, enjoy, and get ready for another season of Duke Blue Devil Basketball. Mr. Williams, my brother's a huge fan. Will you just say hi to him on the camera? What's camp? his name? His name's Aaron. I can't say hi, brother. <laughs> All right. How you doing, Aaron? Nice to see you, buddy. <laughs>